Plasma is the term for a hot, electrically charged gas with very unusual characteristics. It occurs naturally in the sun and in lightning. Normally, it's extremely hot, but scientists have managed to generate what they call cold plasmas at room temperature, which are proving very useful in medicine. This is real-life science fiction. We're using plasma to treat patients with wounds that haven't healed for months or even years, and it really works. In order to generate plasma, all the physicists need is a bottle of argon gas, wires and electrodes, electricity and a container. When the voltage is applied, the neutral particles of the gas are ionized in the electric field created in the container. And there you have plasma. But what is plasma exactly? It's a gas that conducts electricity thanks to charge carriers, and I create these charge carriers in a gas by applying a voltage. Tests have shown that plasma is lethal to bacteria, viruses and fungi, killing them with impressive speed. But it does not appear to harm human tissue at all. In fact, plasma helps to speed up the healing process in other ways too. Plasma allows us to stimulate cell growth, so on the one hand I'm boosting cell growth, while on the other reducing the bacterial infection. So it kills off the bad and stimulates the good. At the Greifswald University Hospital, doctors and physicists are working together to study the different ways that patients can benefit from this therapy. They've been treating wounds both with and without plasma, so they can compare the results. They're also developing various plasters through which the plasma can flow to treat different sized wounds. The teamwork is crucial. We need the physicists because the equipment still has much more potential that can't yet be utilized. That's because the instruments don't yet have the right shape. We're still discussing distances and surfaces. Then you have the important aspect of whether it's working biologically in the direction that the doctors want for each particular condition. If not, do we need to make adjustments? Do we need to change the composition of the plasma? The scientists are continuing to work on instruments for applying the plasma. They're also testing various gas compositions. One of their goals is to develop a plasma endoscope for use inside the body as well. When treating fresh wounds, they use a cold plasma pen device on a daily basis. First of all, the antimicrobial effect allows us to kill off bacteria and viruses. For chronically infected wounds, that's vital. And we can also stimulate the microcirculation, increasing blood supply to the smallest blood vessels. Every three days they conduct a test. They want to know to what extent the wound is still infected. So far there have been no side effects observed from the treatment. The test results show treating a wound with plasma every day for one minute reduces the presence of bacteria by 99%. Killing off the bacteria allows the wound to heal. But that alone doesn't account for the considerable success of the treatment. The scientists have discovered that plasma has three main effects. Firstly, it kills bacteria. Secondly, it stimulates cell growth. And thirdly, it increases the supply of oxygen to the tissue. The scientists are now also researching whether plasma could be used to treat cancer. Initial findings suggest it could kill off cancer cells, while at the same time stimulating the growth of healthy cells. The scientists made the discovery by accident. It was while we were treating larger wounds in a number of patients. Underneath the wounds there were tumor cells. Then we suddenly realized the tumor cells were disappearing too. But research into potential cancer treatment is only in the early stages. In dentistry, meanwhile, plasma is already widely used to sterilize the mouth, for example, before implants are fitted, or to treat gum disease by using plasma and oxygen to reduce bacteria in the mouth. The medical applications of plasma are already being taught in universities, and with research ongoing, it's likely that many more people will benefit in future from the healing properties of plasma.